Everyone's come up to the post-it note wall. They've put down the post-it note. I've sorted them into a few themes of questions for you. What are some of the factors that influence a culture's relationship with the law? I would imagine that a lot of Aussies see the law as a bit of a pain. Yeah. It stops them doing things they might want to do. But in a lot of countries I work with, the lack of law means that they can't send children to school because they might be taken and made into child soldiers because there's no police. The thing that we take for granted and almost is a bit of a pain, for other societies, when you lose the structure of society, often a lot of terrible things, oppression occur. What's the sort of the crunchiest, chewiest dilemma you've found yourself uh, in the middle of? Sometimes when you're sitting and talking to someone and you know what they've done, mm. but you know it's not your right to judge. There's others that will judge and you know you need to try and influence. In the past also being a woman has been quite interesting because you're dealing with, not so much now, but when I was younger, yes. senior military officers that ask you to get a cup of tea because they think you're the secretary and in fact you're there to give the four hour lecture on the targeting issue. Favourite word? Favourite word? Nevertheless. Because it usually changes things from a negative to a positive. If you say, it was raining, nevertheless we had a good time. So I like a word that can stick in the middle of a sentence and can change it. Thanks for coming to the post-it wall. It's okay. been amazing and keep up the good work. It's Thank you so very good. much.